Okay, welcome again to week three of the Grace Sermon Series. I love this, uh, us all kind of getting a chance to, to discuss grace and take a look at another cut of the diamond of grace. So this week in the sermon, we talked about the, the difference, the, uh, the comparison between law and grace. And our scripture was John 1, 16 and 17 that says the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Uh, it's it's I don't think it's extreme to say uh, in the kingdom of God or certainly in the ministry of Jesus, there was a battle, a real war between law and grace in the sense of this. When Jesus showed up on the scene, the Pharisees, the religious leaders of that day, had taken the law of Moses and turned it into a system of, of measurement, um, the Mosaic law. And that's how you uh, related with God. It was through performance. But they had taken it into a place where they missed the whole picture. And Jesus comes, they've got all these rules, and he comes breaking every one of them. He, he heals on the Sabbath, and he touches the wrong people, and he eats with the wrong people, and he forgives a woman uh, who's been uh, caught in the act of adultery, and the Mosaic Law says she should be stoned. So here's this battle. And um, it's strict obedience versus grace. Now, it's true that Jesus never used the term grace in his ministry. Paul does and John does. But Jesus lived grace. That's what I want to say. Um, His life is in such contrast to the Pharisees and the Mosaic Law. The beauty is that even some of those religious leaders, some of those Pharisees like Nicodemus or Paul, eventually came and heard and understood grace and forsook the law for grace. What does it mean to turn from law and turn towards grace? Well, the law, it says in Scripture, is powerless to change behavior. All it is 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 a system of measurement to know what God expects of us, but the law has no power to help us live up to it. It's how we know we need a Savior. Uh, the, The law was a tutor, but it points us to a need for someone to help us live it out. And that's what God did in sending Jesus. Jesus came as the picture of fulfilling the law, but he didn't just stop there. He becomes the person that helps us live righteousness. How does he do it? Well, he modeled it, and then he sends his Holy Spirit. And the Spirit of God comes in us and helps us walk out grace, gives us the power to choose mercy over judgment, to choose faith over striving, and all that comes uh, with grace. Um, In this sense, in the way that, that law was powerless, grace is powerful. It's full of power. We'll get to that in another sermon. When we talk about 2 Corinthians 12, where Paul says, uh, my grace is sufficient for you for when I'm weak, I'm strong. But in in this case, um, uh, I I just want to to, to contrast the two, but point you mainly to the person of Jesus. If you don't have power in a certain situation, ask Jesus for the grace for it. If you can't see in any way something could happen you don't have the ability. You simply uh, have done too much, you think, in order, in order uh, to get back to God. Realize Jesus, Jesus himself and his grace gives you the power to come back to God. There's no sin that you've committed. There's no wrong. There's no relationship too broken that grace can't be powerful to restore. The law can't do that, but grace in Jesus Christ can so Jesus is still operating in grace. He's not, he's, he didn't just come and kind of give us the grace card and head to heaven and he's sitting up there in the clouds with, with God. He, 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 he inaugurated grace. He, he introduced grace. And he's still working through grace in all of our lives through the Holy Spirit. So rely on grace. If you're in the law and you're earn, trying to earn salvation and get up to a place to be uh, enough to be accepted by God, stop. Just let it go. It's already been given. Turn to Jesus. Turn from self-effort and receive grace. Jesus is ready to heal. He's ready to restore. He's ready to lead you into these richer places uh, of the kingdom through grace. So trust Him. 
Look to him and he will be faithful to you.